Hi, my name is Michael Ash, and I'm the Field Application Specialist here at Smart Drone. Our primary responsibility is to help you, the customer, whether it's in the purchase of a drone or in hiring us out to perform a professional service for you. My current service range is within a few hundred miles of Tyler, Texas, but we're continuing to expand that range as we hire more FAS to serve in Texas and across the United States. Today, we're going to be walking you through what it looks like on your end to hire us and also some of the behind the scenes of what we're doing when you send us a request to perform a job for you. So the first step in moving forward with a professional service here at Smart Drone is to submit a KML to us. Whether that's via my email or via the website portal at smartdrone.us, that information will make it to me and we'll put together a bid package for you. We also ask that you send any other pertinent information, like if you'd like an orthomosaic generated as well, if we have access to the property, and anything else that you may think is relevant to us performing the service. Once we've received your KML, we're going to start the process of looking over it, looking for points of interest, towers, things like that. We're going to derive the area of the site so we know how to, you know, how many acres to bid you for. And we're also going to look at the location of the site and see how far it is from our office so that we can bid for mileage as well. Once we have a good idea of the location and the area of the site and other things like how many launch zones we'll need to use and basically time on job, we'll put together a simple quote with one price that you have to pay to get us out there in the field to collect and deliver that data to your office. Once you've had a chance to review our quote and get approval from your customer, then send the approval over to us and we'll go ahead, pack up the truck, do a little bit more planning and queue ground control for our uh, specific flights, and we'll mobilize, we'll get out there, we'll complete the job. Once we've collected all that data from the field, whether it's LIDAR or LIDAR and photo for orthomosaic development, we're going to process all that data and we're going to run it through a QC process. Now, a lot of people ask us, like, how do we know that your point cloud lines up to the ground? And there's two ways that we line it up. Number one is it's all directly, directly geo-referenced, as we've discussed in other videos. And number two is we'll take our traditional base and rover setup, and we'll take multiple check shots all around the field that we're scanning, you know, in the center, on the outside, et cetera. And we're going to make sure that this entire cloud lines up within our accuracy standard to those shots we took. Once we've processed all your data, and made sure that it lines up with the accuracy standards that we advertise, then we feel confident delivering that data to you. And we do that in a couple different ways. We, uh, we always give multiple different grid sizes of deliverables. So typically we'll deliver a one foot, a 15 foot, a 25 foot, and a 50 foot grid. The reason we do this is different people are using different CAD softwares and different people prefer different point density in different areas. And so this allows you to choose what you want to use, because with LiDAR, all the data is there from the get-go. So as you can see, whether you're a surveyor, civil engineer, or a dirt worker, we've streamlined our professional services branch of our business to make it easy for you to get us on your job site. We really appreciate you watching this video, and we hope you learned a little bit and feel more comfortable hiring us out on your next job.